Here's a look at Airy One Ultra Silk Copper PLA. Alright, so picked up some uh, new Air One Silk Copper, so something I have not tried before. I haven't done any silk filament, so I don't know what challenges I'm up for here, but uh, got a promo code and uh, I think it just looks really cool, so I'm going to give that a try. So a pretty sturdy roll per all their other stuff. Used uh, some of their other filaments. They uh, usually come with a recommended print temperature. So the Silk PLA, nice dust fit, very tightly packed and uh, usually very neatly rolled, spooled, whatever you want to call it, wound, I guess would be the correct term there. So looks really good to me. it all nice and tight on there so there's a lot number something like that hopefully 2019 is not the year that was made pretty sure that's not the case but pretty good so I am pretty uh, happy with the look of that and can't wait to get that printing I'm gonna weigh it do a little uh, little check to just kind of check the dimensions on the filament make sure I didn't get something wacky otherwise should be good to go So obviously I've been working a lot here with the Airy One Silk Copper PLA and I have loved it. Everybody in the family loves it as well. I started with the old temp tower here, settled on 200. Seemed to do really well right in their uh, recommended range. Um, did flow calibration, worked beautifully. Was right dead on at 1.0 extrusion multiplier. And played a lot, little bit with the uh, retraction testing because I was concerned a bit. I uh, heard that uh, silk PLAs tended to be a little stringy. So it was my first time using a silk PLA. So I wanted to test that out. But really the machine settings I already had uh, did really well. Um, what I would say I found, and this is not common here or uncommon I have it with uh, you know just a very very fine little um, I don't know what you want to call them you know so hairs or, or whatever that are just really uh, except for some odd prints or whatever very easy to to get rid of so never going to get rid of all of that um, and on the prints that I actually did very very little um, stringing or herring on there so they usually print this little filament swatch to keep a record of what the filament looks like and whatever compare it down the road uh, just love the the look of this I mean this is my new favorite uh, benchy here uh, you know not perfect but I also didn't really invest a lot of time into really tuning or anything here just put it in and pretty much used uh, everything that I had in my current settings and of course I always do a little Lego cube love that just just love the love the look of this made a couple gifts for my father-in-law here with uh, with that for uh, for his golfing stuff made a little Minecraft uh, 
swords and things here in the armor and helmet stuff. And of course, um, the little fidget stars are a huge hit and a really, really cool look with the uh, silk copper here. So um, the one thing I found that was a little bit of a challenge is sticking to, uh, I use PEI plates and uh, this was the stickiest to the plates that I've ever um, ever had uh, on the one plate that I have uh, that's really, really tacky to, uh, to kind of start. I actually had to peel things off with, uh, get them started with a razor blade and um, dental floss to actually get them off. But uh, with uh, the real flexible plates, uh, once it cooled down, flexing it, they came off. But uh, the uh, primer line, things like that were harder than anything I've ever had to to get off so nothing problematic not like they ripped holes or pulled pieces of the PEI off but um, but uh, just wanted to kind of point that out there was something interesting that I that I tended to notice but um, no real problems here aside from again a couple little hairs here and there but uh, um, very very pleased with the look of this very easy to get going and uh, can't beat the look of this very very cool love it um highly recommend it so thank you airy one for your silk copper pla loved it have a great day hope this is helpful happy printing